Hey, I'm Jackson, and I'm talking, um, commenting kind of about the TED Talk video by Bren Brown. She's talking about the power of vulnerability, and I really liked it because she was talking about how most people don't like to be vulnerable because there's no walls up, you know, their guard is down, and anything could happen. But really, in order to be connected to someone, you have to be vulnerable. You know, you tell them your secrets, your goals, your ambitions, and what makes what makes you vulnerable is it makes you beautiful. You know, it's necessary. Sometimes you kind of have to take a leap of faith in, in order for it to happen. And that it, she recognized that it's the birthplace of joy and belonging and love, and that m most people, what they do is they numb things that make them feel fear or sadness and anything like that and she and that's one of the reasons why in this country it's the most depth it's the most depth it's the most obese and it's the most um, just everything and the most addictive and it's because we, a lot of people are scared of those feelings and they just want it to disappear but really it's necessary because without them you can't reflect on anything else and it really made me think a lot about myself and how I'm a senior now and now I feel comfortable in my own skin but beforehand I, I didn't I was very self-conscious I once used to play drums but then I quit because I was so self-conscious about skipping a beat or anything like that but really it, got, it actually did kind of get worse because I, I kept telling myself, you know, if I put myself out there, I'm going to get shot down, and that's going to ruin it, and I, I always quite second-guessed myself. I never believed in myself. I was so unconfident, and along the, along the, um, the road, it kind of was unfortunate that it was really forceful, but there is these instances that big um, impacts on me like like my dog died and I felt really bad about that but then I realized you know he was sick he was old it, it was it was okay or or if if something and I realized that when bad things happen I should talk think about it and so when bad things would happen that you know I really try and understand why that happened why it did that and then so many other experiences that I that I was doing for the first time I realized that if you keep up those walls, if you tell yourself what the outcome is going to be, if you don't just accept it and feel it, you're, it's never going to be the same and you're never going to truly experience it. Like one, one example I can think of is like a first kiss, you, you know, you have to, that, that feeling is, it's going to be just inextricable. You can't just tell yourself if you keep your walls up all the time it's never going to happen and you need to like feel that moment of fear and panic but that's a part of it you can't just disacknowledge it it's there and it is going to happen and it has to happen like that and what she real what um Bren Brown talked about at the end of the video was that she she listed four things that people need to do she said that we will let ourselves be seen we need to love with our whole hearts, even if there's no guarantee. You need to practice gratitude and joy, and you need to believe that you're enough. And that's so true. If you just hide yourself, then you are not being true to yourself. You're not being true at all. It's, you're hiding away who you are. And if you, in the second one, if you love with your whole heart, even if there's no guarantee, then you're just being you it's just great because you're just out there and you don't it doesn't matter whether you fail or not you're just there and you're there for it if you practice gratitude and joy that's just really appreciating everything that life life has to offer and if you believe that you're enough then there's nothing wrong you don't need to add more to it you don't need to take away more you just are who you are and now where i am in my life now I do feel comfortable I can approach my friends and ask them anything I can if I want to you know 
shout or yell for just pure enthusiasm, I can. I, and I know, I mean, I usually don't all the time, but I know I, that I can. And, and that's really expressing myself. And like when it, in classes at school, I want to just feel everything. Like math especially, I, I'm, I don't like math. I'm not good at it. But if I, if I go into class and just let it happen, let the teacher confuse the hell out of me, let myself be scared about the equation or the tests that next day, I can really feel what's happening. I can appreciate it for what it is. And with this mentality of being vulnerable for many things, you can really feel things and experience them for what they should be and how they are without any external forces affecting it. Thanks for listening to my talk.